Hey ladies and fabulous gentlemen, I'm here with a little haul. I got some MAC items this week and I also did a few swaps from Makeup Alley. So I'd like to show you guys those items. Let's start with the MAC stuff. I already had the Studio Moisture Tint SPF 15 in dark. And it's too dark for me right now. It works good in the summer. Um, I've been using it a lot lately for work because I like it. It gives me all the coverage I need. Um, it works quite well for work. I don't want to go with a heavy face full of makeup because I do work in food service right now. But the color was just too dark. You could see the spots. I had the little foundation line here. It just didn't work out. So I'm keeping this for summer and I grabbed this in medium. It shows you the color on the outside. It's just a difference. The medium seems to be working really well and I like it. But in my other video, I said that this was more moisturizing than the Benefits U Rebel. But actually, I think the U Rebel is more moisturizing. It just doesn't give you as much coverage. This seems to cover very well for me. Um, this is just sheer coverage. I like them both. But I definitely recommend this when you want a little more coverage, but you don't want a lot of heavy makeup. So I like that. And I picked up a cream color base. So these were $16.50. This was $29.50. I couldn't decide what color. The MAC artist I was chatting with online recommended um, the shade Tickle Me Pink for my skin tone. And I'm not a fan of pink blushes. I usually stick with peach or coral. But I wanted a baby pink. And this is more of a bright pink. Here's a swatch on my hand. Shows up pretty bright on my face. I don't like the consistency. I'm not going to send it back. Um, it works well on the lips. But it's not as creamy as I thought it would be. I'll just show you. Like yes, you could blend it out. But it's... It's not creamy at all. I just don't like the texture of it. I'm used to the cream blushes. I picked up a blush cream from MAC. These are not, these are discontinued from MAC. This color, Lilicent, is not available on MAC's website anymore. These are listed under the goodbyes, and there's a few of them left, which is a shame. I was watching videos on these. A lot of people love them, and I wanted to try them. Um... But I guess they're coming out with something new. I ordered this off of eBay. I can't say that I know that it's 100% authentic. I will do my best to find out. I was going to order off of All Cosmetics Wholesale because they did have it. But this was a better deal. Now the woman only had this and another blush cream from MAC, and then no other makeup related products. So I did trust that these were legit, that maybe she picked these up before they sold out. This is Lilicent. And the woman that I chatted with from MAC said that this wouldn't do much for me and that it wouldn't show up. But I wore it to work yesterday and it did. I like it. It's a very natural color. And it's very creamy. I love it. I will swatch it for you guys. And these, these are more blendable than the cream color bases. It's like a flesh tone peachy pink. It shows up peachy pink on my cheeks. But it's very natural and subtle and I like it a lot. Just to see the difference. This is Lilicent. This is Tickle Me Pink. And this is Tickle Me Pink, a heavy coat of this. But I like this a lot. It's a shame that these were discontinued. I hope MAC comes out with a similar product. And I am wearing a little bit of it now. Another thing that I'm wearing is the Pink Friday lipstick. I'm not crazy about it. I have the Lady Gaga. It's a nice Barbie pink. I love it. This looks too similar on my lips to the Lady Gaga. I went through a lot staying up late to try to get this, like a lot of other ladies did. 
a couple minutes after midnight each week it was gone on the last week I was able to get this product and I'm not too crazy about it it's alright it doesn't do too much for me not something that I had to have but it's okay I would expect Mac to have like different packaging something special because of all the hype but it's just a plain container it's alright and this is the brush that I use um, I really like this for cream blushes it works well with the blush cream it also works well with the cream color base this is the flat top by Sonia Kashuk they have it at Target I got the Smashbox O Glow in a swap on Makeup Alley. As you guys can see, it comes out clear. I'll try it on the inside of my wrist to see if it shows up better. it's starting to turn a very bright pink I like the idea of it but I don't like the color so much on my cheeks because it looks like I'm flushed it looks like I have a fever it's hard to see on here put a little bit more it's like a very bright pink when it shows up on my cheeks and I'm not a fan of the flush feverish look but I love the idea of it it's very cool that it goes from clear to pink it's supposed to change with your body chemistry but everyone that I've talked to that has this it's all turned the same color so who knows I don't think that it's worth the retail price I think it's about twenty six dollars or so it's not worth that I did swap that out and another thing that I got in my swap the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Hollywood I love this it's supposed to be kind of a dupe to Max Stereo Rose I've never tried that so I'm not familiar with that this is like a bronzy apricot but it's super super pigmented the first time I put it on I put way too much on so you really have to just use a tiny tiny bit and these are perfect for women of color because the pigmentation is crazy I've never used a Lorac product before just like a nice bronzy apricot it's very flattering to warm skin it'll warm your face up so this is nice. I'll have to try more of their products. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned because I will be back. You guys have a great weekend.